What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to your general reading for September 2020. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. So this is just a general reading. I'm not going to focus on any one particular area. We'll just see what wants to come out. Your love reading is already posted for this month. If you're looking specifically for love, it may turn into that. Who knows? We'll see. But that's not my intention, okay? Recent past for Aquarius. Present energy for Aquarius. I will show these to you guys as I read them as well. Okay, I know they're kind of hard to see when they're up there. Immediate future for Aquarius. King of Cups. What are you hoping for, Aquarius? Oh, the Empress. Potential obstacle for Aquarius in September. Seven of Pentacles. What are you afraid of, Aquarius? What is Aquarius afraid of? Oh, guys. Six of Wands. Advice for Aquarius. Oh. Seven of Swords. Okay, here we go, guys. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. So it would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during this month. Everything else here can be, you know, people around you, outside influences, whatever. It can also be your energy. It just, it doesn't matter. All right. Overall Aquarius, you have the Four of Pentacles. So you might be just be, you know, really holding on to your money, holding on to something really tightly, being really, really cautious with your spending. Let's see why. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Aquarius. Oh, okay. The Four of Cups. Um, two fours, by the way. Right there in your overall energy, 44. With the Four of Cups, though, it's apathy, it's boredom, um, it's kind of like indifference. Like, you might have a couple options on whatever you want to do in your life now. The Cups are generally emotion-related, but you also have money here as well. So, it kind of looks like you're just really watching your spending and not real interested in love relationships right now you're kind of really you know money focused it might be kind of con consuming your energy right now all right now for your recent past you have the ace of swords reverse man i hope the glare isn't as bad for you as it looks for me Jeez. anyway ace of swords reverse air energy so you as well as libra and gemini this is a blockage in your recent past so you might have been having some trouble getting clarity on a situation. You didn't know what was real, didn't know what the truth was. Hopefully that's not still the case. Um, but now here in the present, you have the Eight of Cups. This is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is walking away from a situation that was disappointing, that you thought was going to go a whole different way and you put a whole lot of emotion into this whatever it is for you um it didn't go the way that you had expected so you're walking away or someone else is let's clarify clarify the eight of cups for aquarius it's it's like going off to find your happiness clarify the eight of cups for aquarius in september Oh boy, look at that, the tower. So, whew, with the tower and the eight of cups there, it, the leaving the situation was probably really unexpected, really out of the blue. Either you didn't expect to have to leave it or you didn't expect someone else to leave it. Um, the tower is unexpected, it's shocking, it's, it's a huge change. It's like everything just being torn to the ground. Um, and someone's walking away. So it's either, you know, someone's walking away because they found out something that just crumbled the whole foundation or someone walking away is 
knocking down the whole foundation. Let's see. Clarify the tower. What is this tower? What is the tower for Aquarius in September? Mars energy, Aries and Scorpio, if that means anything to you. What is this tower for Aquarius? Oh boy, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this tower is, it's exactly what should be happening. And it could have to do with money. Um, okay, so here's the thing. The tower doesn't always have to be bad. Maybe you got a huge lump sum of money unexpectedly. Um, could have been by walking away from something, it causes your finances to kind of blow up like out of control, right? So your current energy, you're really like holding on to your money, watching your spending, but you've got the wheel of fortune in your present energy. So I mean, it's exactly what it says it is. It's good fortune, it's luck, it's fate, it's destiny. Whatever's happening here with the tower and somebody walking away for something, it's way, way for the best. Definitely for the best. <laughs> it's like by that happening, your life is gonna completely turn around. That is amazing. All right, back to back majors, by the way. So it's a big month for you. Let's clarify that Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. It's like you're starting to see things happen for you. Um, wow, I just saw something weird in my phone and I don't know if it's in the video. I'm gonna have to rewatch this. Ooh, it looked like a shadow. Um, and none of my cats are in here, so I don't know. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Wands. So that's being very very defensive, very guarded. So you might come into some money and that's why you know, you're know you in this Four of Pentacles really hold on to your money tightly. You might really be protective of it. Like you don't want anybody to touch it. You don't want anything to happen to it. You know, you're really, really protecting yourself or someone else's. That's fire, by the way, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it can also just be a standing your ground. If you walked away from something, you're really standing your ground on it or someone else's. Um, you know, it's, it's defending yourself and protecting yourself. All right. <laughs> In your immediate future, you have the King of Cups. This is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There might be an older water sign and it doesn't necessarily have to be older age wise, but more mature, a water sign that is significant for you in the future. Doesn't have to be though. It's just being really emotionally balanced, emotionally available, connected spiritually. It can also be a father figure um, or you know, just, just really spiritually evolved energy. All right, let's clarify that guy. Clarify the King of Cups. The Nine of Swords reversed. Good shit, guys. Air energy. So you as well as Libra and Gemini, it's coming out of a period of anxiety, depression, stress. It's healing from all of that. Um, you know, if you previously went through something with either you walking away from something or someone else walking away from something or you, you know, it's healing from that. You're not going to be anxious anymore. You're not going to be depressed. All is going to be well. Your emotions are going to be perfectly fine. You're going to be so emotionally healthy in the near future. Like things are really turning around. So if it doesn't feel that way right now, know that it's coming. Okay. What are you hoping for? The Empress. So you could be hoping to get pregnant. You could be hoping to get someone pregnant. Um, if this is love for you, you could be hoping for a divine feminine to come into your life. You could be hoping to be in your divine feminine energy. Either way, it's all about growth, expansion, abundance. And with having the Empress here with the Wheel of Fortune, you are just, it's so abundant. I can't even fully explain it to you. Like you're gonna be just fine. Um, so 
that's your goal and you're reaching your goal. It's gonna take walking away from something to get to there, but you're gonna do it. All right, Libra Taurus energy, by the way. Your potential obstacle, the Seven of Pentacles. So as an obstacle, when this reading looks really good for money, this is about investing. So I would just say, if you're investing any money anywhere, pay attention to where you're investing. Um, and you know, if you're, if you're putting in this work, putting in this effort, and you're not seeing the results from it yet, know that it's happening, it's coming. It's just, it's gonna, something's gonna massively change here, and then you're gonna start to see these results come in. But there has to be a major, major change first, and it's it's gonna happen. Something's gonna need left behind in order to see this happen, to see, you know, the fruits of your labor, all that good stuff. But it is happening, it's just gonna take something really major to happen first. All right, what are you afraid of? The Six of Wands. Why are you afraid of this, guys? This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like you're afraid, you're afraid to be in the spotlight. Um, so I don't know what's happening with you here as far as money, finances, could be job, whatever, but it's huge. And it might scare you. Like, this is a victory parade. It's being recognized. It's being appreciated, you know, for all the time and effort that you put in. It's like a hard-won battle. Um, but you're afraid of it. So it's like whatever you're doing might kind of put you in a place to be, like, noticed by a lot of people. And it scares you. Um, just work on your confidence. That's all. You know, whatever's happening here that's awesome in your life you deserve for it to be happen happening and you earned it so just work on your confidence you know okay your advice the seven of swords watch out for deception around you there could be someone around you that's being really deceitful you know lying stealing cheating whatever um just watch out for deceitful energy around you and that's that's probably why you have the seven of wands up here, you know, protecting yourself um, and having to walk away from something because you kind of know that someone is shady around you. So if you don't want, you know, what you're trying to do here to get all jacked up and you want to reach your goals and you're going to have to leave this shady person in the past. Clarify the seven of swords for Aquarius. The Three of Swords reverse. So it's someone here who really broke your heart and you're healing from it. But you kind of have to watch out. Like, okay, so say someone did something to you, somebody betrayed you, whatever, you found out, you're healing from it, but you also need to get rid of that person so that it doesn't happen again. Does that make sense? So you're healing from some sort of betrayal, but it's still happening. So, whew. whoever did some shit to you that you're healing from, know that they're still doing it, and you need to watch yourself, okay? Yeah, and this one just fell out too, the Ten of Swords reverse. Lots of swords here, guys, which is your energy, but it's not all good. So with the Ten of Swords reversed, you know, it's, again, it's healing. You got the Three of Swords reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. You're healing from something huge, something major, something that just, like, hurt the fuck out of you. Like, somebody stabbed you in your back, whatever, lied to you, stole from you, cheated, whatever it is in your world, it's huge, and you're healing from it. But know that they're not done. They're still doing it. So you have to weed them out of your life in order to get to this Wheel of Fortune, this Empress that you're trying for. Okay, all right, take care Aquarius.